officially kicked off again, qualifying over, and it was uh, it's a good qualifying. Fuse P17 puts you into a good position for points. Uh, it's a, a bit disappointing, to be honest. It's uh, It's been a hard day for us. We had power st steering issues in the first practice, which meant we only got six flying laps. They the new RML parts. Um, well, we couldn't actually detect the issue. We, our guys looked into it, a data engineer, engineer, we had guys from RML, guys from Cosworth. Um, couldn't find what caused the, the, I think the switch or whatever to trip. Um, so we thought it was maybe just a one-off thing where a, a, a bit bad luck occurred. So to reset everything for the second practice and it happened again. So um, we had to make, have a a make do solution for qualifying but um, it didn't affect the car going into qualifying but it did put us in the back foot a little with less laps than we would have liked to, um, less time to try changes on the car so that wasn't ideal. Um, going into qualifying we, we just never clicked. The car felt pretty good actually. Um, there wasn't a lot I would change but um, I just never got a good lap time and it's I think qualifying has always been our, um, our weakest point. Racing's always been where we where we do better. Um, and I think that just comes with lack of experience. That, okay, we've been in the touring cars for a couple of years now, but when you look at the racing some people have done prior, we do lack experience. And I think um, qualifying is a, a big area we need to improve. So, it's, I mean, it's a disappointing start for us to be so far back, but it's easy to just look at the position. Um, Comparing me and Adam's data, I'm only just under three tenths of Adam. Um, we're not doing much that different. The cars are similar, and um, it's those two between two and three tenths. But the difference in me being 17th and him being seventh, which shows how competitive this championship really is. Now, will this uh, determine how the race goes? Because obviously, starting from 17th, it's quite easy to get yourself into points with the field as close as they were qualifying guys time-wise. So, will will this make things uh, a lot easier for you to uh, move, move it up? I mean, there's no pressure. There's um, starting there. There's nothing to lose. The um, only way is to go forward. So we'll be we'll be pushing hard. We'll um, if there's a, a sniff of a a gap. We'll um, we'll go for it. And um, yeah, we'll we'll definitely give it a good go. We'll um, try and get pick off a few cars. Try and do the same in race two, and hopefully. With a bit luck, we get ourselves into a position for a, a reverse grid, but uh, a tad easier said than done. And finally, we're going uh, on to 11 weekends without a, a wet race, if, if we have completely dry again. Is this, is it, are you now starting to miss the rain? It's funny, um, with the rain, it's, I don't like the rain, I prefer it dry, but I always do better in the rain, so I would. I half like it, half dislike it because I just prefer it dry, but it's, it's always where I do better. So um, I think a wet session certainly wouldn't hurt us. I think it'd uh, be pretty interesting. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Ben. Very good luck for the race tomorrow. Cheers, thank you, Liz.